between these eggs. Easter eggs Keep with the this lamb. Easter coloring and the distilled white vinegar. Again, we're doing it for fun. It's a beautiful celebration of life and spring and new flowers, new beginnings. You can do this for any celebration. If you celebrate Easter, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you're just here we are getting all ready for Easter. Yay, Easter. Getting our cups ready. Right now you can see that they're 100% empty. So I don't know what's going on in the stores this year, but there is no Easter dye. So what we decided to do was get the food colors and we're gonna add it to water. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of vinegar. So stay tuned. We're using this background to keep our countertops from getting stained since we're actually using food coloring. It's much more important to make sure that the surface that you're using doesn't or holiday Passover type traditions are if you um, believe or celebrate in it. And if you don't, what do you do for this holiday weekend or week? Enjoy the beautiful spring weather and let's all enjoy life and love. That's the best thing that we can do for a new year resolution. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. So here we have added these colors into straight vinegar so far. We have, uh, I'll show you the lids of the colors. We have green, orange or yellow, purple, and pink. So there they are in the cups. So if you ran to the store to try to get Easter egg coloring and you couldn't get any, just take like a couple tablespoons of vinegar, add it to your cup, add a couple drops of colors together. And look at we ended up with green. How beautiful. And we got orange or yellow and blue. So out of those colors, you can tell me which two I mixed together to get green. I hope you're having a great weekend. Please leave comments below. And now you have beautiful assortment of colored eggs to go ahead and hide for the festivities. We keep ours in the refrigerator over the night and uh, 